you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm finally doing my Chanel Classic Flap bag comparison video between the Jumbo in Caviar as well as the Medium Large in Caviar. And then I will also be doing a comparison between a lambskin medium and a caviar medium. So hopefully this will be a super informative video for you guys. If you're into handbags, fashion, vlogs, travel, home things, etc., and all that stuff, please hit the subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so you know I post new videos. And also feel free to check out my Instagram and my TikTok where I try and post every single day. So that's that. Um, I want to get right into this video because I know that it will probably be a little bit on the lengthier side. So uh, yeah, just wanted to give you guys a heads up. If you wanna grab a snack, go ahead. If you wanna grab some water, go ahead. I have water with me because every single time I film a video, I get like a super dry throat. Gonna start off with what I purchased first, which is the Jumbo Classic Flap in Caviar. I bought this from Saks. This was my graduation present to myself. And for a while, I wasn't really using it as much because it got to a point where sometimes like it just felt too bulky and too big. But uh, when I debated on selling it and seeing the price increases, I have decided to just like hang on to it a little bit longer. I do really like how much room this bag has and that I don't have to fuss about it too much because of the caviar. So if you are looking for an everyday bag, caviar would definitely be my suggestion. Uh, lambskin obviously looks a little bit more luxurious, but it does require a little bit more care and attention. So this is the Jumbo. She's a couple years old already. And I did mention in my uh, best and worst purchases that I didn't really like that I bought this brand new, but with the current prices, I am starting to change the way I feel about it, which is kind of why I have decided to keep it because I was considering selling this in order to get the medium. With the prices that they're at now, I will do a screenshot of the old classic flap prices as well as the new ones. They did just do an increase back in November in the US and the one that recently hit. So, so that's already two price increases in less than a year. So with the new price, I am really happy that I do have this and I got it for a way lower price than what it is now. I think when I purchased this, it was 5,500 brand new. So I do still actually have the box that this came in and all the packaging and I'll go over that in a little bit. This is the jumbo and I will just kind of go over all the other bags just to kind of intro it before we start to do a little bit of a comparison. The next bag that I got this was back in 2017, maybe. This is my brown classic flap in a medium size in lambskin. So I just fell in love with this color and I just loved the size. I did get this pre-owned for like 2000 and it's got like some wear on the inside, but I was pretty pleased with it for the price that I got it for. And I just really, really love this. Because it is an older piece, I think it was probably from the early 2000s, the lambskin has worn in a little bit more, so I'm not too careful with it. I feel like I would be a lot more cautious with the newer lambskin because it hasn't been through much. So yeah, this is the medium and lambskin, and the latest one that I got is caviar. This one I ordered just before the price increase. And this is honestly an amazing classic Chanel bag. This size, this combo, you just really can't go wrong with it. So super happy that I was able to get this before the price increase. And honestly, like I was worried that because I had this and the jumbo that I would just always favor one over the other, but realize that I have different reasons to use one particular bag. So. I have decided to keep both for the time being. And you guys know that I also let go of my boy bag, so it kind of went into this one. So this is the medium classic flap, and the prices have already increased. I'll include a chart showing you guys the new prices compared to the old ones. I just think this is perfect. I mean, if I had to choose one, I would probably pick a medium over the jumbo, 
but there are times when I do love just having a bigger bag. I feel like the medium can easily go from day to night, whereas the jumbo is a little bit trickier because of its size. So this is just a little comparison for you guys. You can see that there is a pretty big difference. Um, something to keep in mind is that caviar is going to be a little bit heavier as well. Really important to pay close attention to the bag that you're getting, especially if it's brand new. At this point, um, I opted for brand new because the prices that I was seeing on the preload market actually were more than retail, which I thought was insane. So I contacted my SA and I was able to place an order through her and this bag got delivered to my house. You guys saw the comparison between the jumbo and the medium, and this is a comparison between lambskin and caviar. Honestly, caviar is definitely a lot heavier than the lambskin, I'll tell you that right now. So another thing to take into consideration when you are between leathers. The prices are the same, so it's just really up to your preference. If you're looking for something a little bit more formal, then you might be going with lambskin, but um, for me, I really do just love the caviar and how durable it is and that I don't have to worry about it too much. The rest of my Chanel bags are in like lambskin material, like my backpack. The pearl bag is another like delicate thing that I freak out about sometimes, but that's fine. And also my Diana. And just so you guys can also see the Diana in comparison to a medium, this is what it is looking like. Uh, the caviar, the classic flap also does come in a smaller size, the size small, which is a little bit harder to find. But the way you can tell the difference between a small and a medium is actually the diamonds across. A medium is going to have eight diamonds across, whereas the small will have seven. So you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I'll insert a photo of a small just so you guys can see, but I don't really have it with me to compare. But in case anyone was between a classic flap and a Diana, this is what that looks like. Okay, so now I'll try the bags on just so you guys can see. And I know that this is one of the things that makes it difficult right now because you can't try it on. But for reference, I'm about 5'6". Normally wear a medium, I'm like a 28 in jeans. I don't know, that makes a difference. But the jumbo is great if you love having something tucked under your arm, back up so you guys can see. So this is what the jumbo looks like on my arm, and this is what the medium looks like on my shoulder. So when you have a medium, you can wear it on one side as well. For the medium, I do like it hanging a little bit lower. The difference between the medium and my Diana is that the medium is not as easy to wear as a crossbody. It's going to be super cropped, so this is it across my frame. The small you can wear more as a crossbody. Uh, and the minis, obviously. So here's just another look at the medium again on the crook of my arm. Really nice and classic, can just go from day to night. And then this is the Diana, obviously a little bit more comfortable. And this bag is also just so much lighter, so. This is what that looks like, worn crossbody, how it looks over the shoulder as well. So I'm gonna start off with the medium because obviously whatever fits in the medium fits in the jumbo, but this is the inside of the bag. You can see that burgundy lining. There is a zip up here, but nothing really fits in there. So uh, there's that. On the back, there is a pocket, and there is a pocket over here as well. Good for just like putting in receipts or cash or cards. I do have a shaper in here from Samorga, and it fits nicely. Uh, this is the one that fits from the old medium boy bag. I bought this just because I thought it was a good fit for my Diana, and it actually fits perfectly. So I'm gonna put my things in here and then slip this into the bag. So first thing I'm gonna put in is my wallet and then we're gonna put in Purell, tissues. Um, my keys are downstairs, so whoops. Got my like lip balm in here, a hair tie. Going to put in 
some sunglasses, which is good. And then I'm also gonna just put in my mask because that is really like what I just carry around with me. I'm going to now put this inside the bag and this just slides perfectly inside and going to close the bag and there we go. So the thing with the medium is it does fit the phone, but it really depends what else you are putting inside. If I take out my Purell, because this one is kind of a bigger bottle, and just move some other things around, my phone can fit inside. That's just something that I want to bring up. Uh, it doesn't fit everything, but it does fit the necessities, especially if you're the kind of person that needs to always be able to put your phone inside your bag. For me, it's always in my hand, so it doesn't really bother me much if I can't squeeze my phone in. So yeah, this is the medium, nice and stuffed, and it is kind of like feeling a little bit heavy-ish, but that's what it's looking like. So I'm going to take this stuff out now and show you guys how it fits in the jumbo and how much more room you can get in the jumbo. A lot bigger, can fit a lot more. So this for me is a good like errand bag, which is super extra and I hate that I called it that, but she's a lot more flexible because obviously I've had this for four years and the medium literally just came in. But this is what we've got. Going to take out the shaper, which is in here. Got it in like this red color, but I feel like it should have been darker. But anyways, this is Going to have the phone, wallet, sunglasses, lip balm, mask, hair tie, hand sanitizer, and there is still so much room in here. So if you feel like you need to carry more on a daily basis, then a jumbo is going to be a great bag for that. I'm just gonna close this up and this is the jumbo so still tons of room in here you can fit like snacks or something but there is definitely a lot more room in the jumbo compared to the medium if the classic flap is a bag that you are planning on getting because you want to get a lot of use out of it and use it more on a daily basis with more things you're gonna want to go with the jumbo but if you want like a classic bag that can easily go from day to night like you can bring it to weddings and wear it for formal occasions as well, then a medium is going to be a great choice. I do think it's adorable and I can get a lot of use out of it. Again, I have had my medium already in the lambskin for a couple of years, so I knew that the size was not going to be an issue. The jumbo and the medium boy bag were my first two Chanel's. So I wanted those bags to be really practical and I wanted to be able to get a lot of use out of them I wasn't in a position to drop money on a Chanel bag and not get to use it all the time. So the bigger sizes definitely were something that were really useful. And then as my collection grew and I was picking out like smaller bags and I wasn't carrying around as much, these kind of faded to the background. But when it came time to deciding to sell this one for this one, um, I was pretty torn because I started using this more and I realized how handy it is to have this. I feel like if I did sell this bag, I wouldn't be able to find it on the pre-loved market for the price that I got it for in the condition that I have kept it in. So you can see that the quilting is still nice and poofy and I have kept like the hardware nice and clean. Uh, this bag really is just so durable. I have been caught in the rain with this bag, like I've had to run from like a building to a cab and it's just like an easy wipe off. I don't worry about it too much, which is really nice. So I'm excited to have a smaller option in case there are occasions where this just feels too bulky. So this is just another look at the bag side by side. Um, you are getting a lot more with the jumbo. So these are just things to really keep in mind as you are hunting for them. I will say that it seems like the mediums are more coveted and harder to come across in the pre-loved market. And I think if you are shopping now for a Chanel, you'll want to look at the current prices at retail and also compare them to 
the bags in the pre-loved market and the condition that they're in. I've always been a strong advocate of shopping pre-loved if you can. That was one of my regrets with the jumbo, but with the way the market is now and how the prices are, I mean, I'm still gonna always say, if you are planning a trip to Europe or going to Paris, you're still gonna see a difference between their prices there and the prices here now. So that's also just something to really keep in mind. But these bags really are such a classic that I feel like you can't really go wrong. It just was crazy to me that I was seeing this bag that is a couple years old that was selling for more than retail. So that was just something that was kind of crazy to me. I do still have the original packaging from both of my classic flaps because those are the ones that I bought brand new. So just to kind of go over what goes into the packaging in case you are interested. This is the one from the medium and all the wrapping and cloth is in here. This is the tag, um, little dust bag. And it comes with like a booklet and a cleaning cloth. So this is the book, just kind of goes over the history and like what goes into making a Chanel classic flap. I still have like all the original stuff for my jumbo as well. This is a little card, care card, and a cleaning cloth that you can use to kind of just like wipe down your caviar leather. This is good for the lambskin versions as well. Inside the bag is obviously the authenticity card that I will take out. And you'll want to keep these things because they do determine like your price point if you do decide to resell. So just make sure you keep all these things in one place. A lot of people really love to be able to get a full set, like that's what it's called. Um, I am in a couple of Facebook groups for Chanel and I just browse it occasionally to see what people are selling, how much they're selling for. So just something to keep in mind in case you are trying to do your research on where to buy what particular bag. This is the medium once again, and this is, oh, oh gosh, this is heavy. This is the jumbo. Something to think about if you do plan on getting the jumbo, the chain isn't the most comfortable on your shoulder. So just keep that in mind. I make it a rule to not wear my jumbo on days that I know that I am walking a lot and I'm carrying a lot in it. So that's just something to also keep in mind. It's not one of the bags that I will opt for when I'm in Manhattan walking around the city all day long because this has dug into my shoulders a couple of times already. A size up from this is the maxi and then they also have like this extra, extra large one as well. There's tons out there, but I think the most popular ones that people are between is like a medium and the um, jumbo. So those are just some things to keep in mind as you are shopping and hunting for a classic flap. I will link down below a link to the purse blog post that breaks down the Chanel prices. And I did hear a rumor that there could be another one this fall. I don't really know, but ultimately I am glad that I went brand new for the medium just because of the prices of the pre-loved market right now. And also it's just so hard to find a caviar classic flap for a good price in great condition. If you are looking for lambskin and you're going for a vintage one, those are at a much better price point. So. If you are into lambskin, uh, it's definitely worth a look in the preload market because I feel like there's a lot more lambskin out there than there is caviar. Caviar tends to go really fast, which is probably why the only ones that I'm seeing are the ones that are marked above retail. So just some things to consider. But yeah, if I had to pick just one, I would probably go with the medium. And the reason I say that is because if I wanted to carry a lot of things. I would probably just go with one of my totes. The Chanel Classic Flap is a great bag to bring on trips because I feel like you can easily go from day to night with it. Super casual, super easy to wear, and you can just wear it either like on the crook of your arm, wear it on one shoulder, and I think that's just really important when traveling because I personally don't like to carry a lot of bags on a trip with me, so I do try and be really selective on what bags are flexible with like multiple outfits and all that stuff. So. Just something to keep in mind. Um, don't know when I'm traveling again, so we're just here. Uh, the good news is New York started to reopen, so maybe I'll be in the city a lot sooner than later, but um, yeah, that's essentially it. 
I'm just going to give you guys like another look at a little comparison and I'll be sure to post on Instagram as well. And I will also update the pre-loved finds on my blog and I'll just try and be really diligent about what is a good price, what isn't. It has changed so much honestly since uh, COVID-19 and I feel like a lot of people are either selling or a lot of people are buying. So it's just kind of all over the place right now, but always reference back to retail prices and figure out what you're comfortable with, what is worth buying brand new, what is worth saving a couple hundred dollars um, without really sacrificing too much of the quality of the bag or the condition of the bag. I think that is it for this video. I am going to start looking over the footage already to make sure that it's all good because I've already refilmed this, but Hopefully you guys found it helpful and in case you have any additional questions, always feel free to message me, DM me, uh, happy to get back to you guys and that's pretty much it. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.